a couple in love who have been longing to have a child decide to seek the help of a renowned reproductive specialist. The wait finally comes to an end when the treatment grants the couple the long-awaited miracle of pregnancy. However, what seemed like a fairy tale about to come true quickly took a completely different turn, and very strange and surprising things began to happen. The movie begins on a night when expectations are running high. Lucy decides to take a pregnancy test. The negative result is a huge blow, especially as she and her husband, Adrian, have been looking forward to having a baby for two long years. However, the flame of hope is not yet completely extinguished. The turning point in the story comes when Adrian suggests seeking out Dr. John Hindle, a renowned fertility specialist in the United States and former professor of medicine. Lucy, initially apprehensive, accepts the idea and they make an appointment. At Dr. John's clinic, Lucy and Adrian are welcomed with warmth and attention, making Lucy feel at ease and full of hope. But something seems strange when the doctor examines Lucy, and she notices that her husband Adrian doesn't show the enthusiasm she expected. Nevertheless, she left the appointment with renewed optimism. Meanwhile, at work, things are going very well for Lucy, who has finally won the position of marketing team leader. It's an achievement she's been looking forward to for a long time. Her boss shares the good news and invites her to place a celebratory food order. The big day of fertilization arrives, and Adrian is given a special container to collect his sperm, which will be carefully injected into Lucy. A few weeks later, during her working hours, Lucy suddenly begins to feel unwell. She and Adrian return to Dr. John's clinic and, to their surprise, discover that she is finally pregnant. Joy overtakes them as they begin to think of names for the baby. Lucy has a special name in mind, Wendy. At work, while ordering food for lunch, Lucy takes the opportunity to share the news of her pregnancy. Her boss and colleagues congratulate her warmly, even making a few jokes about how pregnancy can help win new clients. Adrian and Lucy return to Dr. John's clinic for an ultrasound and receive incredible news, they are expecting twins. Happiness abounds, but everything changes when Julie, the nurse, reveals something unexpected. Lucy is pregnant with a third baby, a girl. Lucy panics and the nurses do their best to calm her down. After catching his breath, Dr. John shares a worrying prospect, complications in childbirth if Lucy chooses to keep all three babies. He suggests that she consider giving up the girl, arguing that the twins are in better health. However, while Adrian agrees with the doctor, Lucy is torn. She ponders the idea of looking after two babies at the same time and giving up her career, something she has always wanted. The tension between the couple increases, but Adrian tries to calm things down. In the end, Lucy is sure of one thing, she is determined to keep her baby, regardless of the challenges that lie ahead. When Adrian shares his concerns about Lucy's decision, a storm of anger overtakes her. A fight breaks out, and the stubbornness persists until Lucy finally gives in to Adrian's wishes and accepts the idea of keeping the girl. After reconciling, the couple get along again and Adrian suggests that Lucy join a group of expectant mothers. She attends the meeting and meets other pregnant women facing similar complications. Together, they share their experiences, and Lucy is praised for her determination to go to Dr. John when other mothers have been waiting on the waiting list for a year and a half. The day of the selective reduction, a procedure to reduce the risk of multiple pregnancies, finally arrives, and Lucy is nervous. While waiting in the room, she picks up a magazine with Dr. John on the cover, highlighting his success. However, a section on a famous midwife catches her eye, piquing her interest. During the procedure, Lucy is almost unconscious and hears parts of the conversation between John and Adrian, who seems to be hiding something from her. As the procedure progresses, Lucy has a frightening nightmare involving her daughter, leaving her shaken awake. John tries to calm her down, assuring her that everything will be fine. Back home, Lucy notices blood on her legs and decides to go to John at the clinic for an explanation. He reassures Lucy that this is normal. However, she remains unsettled. During a marketing presentation, Lucy shines and wins the lead role. But one night, she hears strange noises in the house and goes downstairs armed with a knife. 
What she finds in a drawer in Adrian's office intrigues her, a safe. Adrian tries to calm her down, but her curiosity about what's inside the safe consumes her. At a meeting of the pregnant mother's group, Lucy meets Corgan, who is going through a similar situation. Lucy shares her paranoia, suspecting that Dr. John has done something to her daughter Wendy and that Adrian is in cahoots with the doctor. Later, Lucy watches a video of midwife Grace Singleton, the famous midwife she saw in the magazine, whose approach to pregnancy captivates her. She starts hallucinating and vents to Grace, but when Adrian finds her, Lucy keeps the midwife a secret. The next day, Lucy continues her work, and her boss repeatedly insists on sending her out for food. Meanwhile, a twist occurs when Dr. John's secretary seeks her out to retrieve the magazine Lucy had taken from the office. The conversation makes her uneasy and worried about her daughter Wendy, leading her to hug her belly in search of comfort. At her next appointment with Dr. John, Lucy undergoes an examination of her belly, but without the use of an ultrasound, which leaves her confused. She returns the magazine to the doctor, apologizing for taking it home. The next day, her life takes an unpleasant turn when her boss informs her that she will be removed from the project she was leading due to her pregnancy, fearing that her dedication will decrease after maternity leave. Upset by the news, she goes to Adrian to take him out for lunch, wanting to cheer herself up by seeing her husband. However, Adrian expresses deep concern after saying that he had already come a little earlier and brought her the same lunch that she is holding, even though Lucy doesn't remember it. Worried about Lucy's memory, Adrian takes her back to Dr. John's clinic, which prescribes pills to help with her mental health. He mentions the complexity of a mother's brain and the importance of taking care of herself. Despite this, Lucy still doubts John's advice and decides to go to midwife Grace for a second opinion, keeping this a secret from Adrian. However, even after her appointment with Grace, Lucy's mental state doesn't improve and she is haunted by increasingly disturbing nightmares. She dreams that Adrian and Dr. John are involved in a secret case, which makes her even more anxious. Early one morning, Lucy goes downstairs to check Adrian's safe and discovers a detailed file on her pregnancy, including photos of her visits to midwife Grace. Lucy then decides to share the files with her friend Corgan, expressing her concerns and suspicions that something has happened to her daughter Wendy. Corgan offers to consult her lawyer husband about the situation. The following day, Lucy reveals to Adrian her intention to leave her job and opt for midwife Grace's care during her pregnancy. She also expresses her concerns about Dr. John, which irritates Adrian. He argues that they have attended John's clinic for months, and he has known the doctor for years. Lucy, however, is determined in her decision. During her baby shower, hosted by Corgan, Lucy receives a significant gift, the first edition of Peter Pan, the book her late mother used to read to her. A curious moment occurs when Corgan calls her by her real name, Lucia, surprising Lucy. Corgan apologizes, and Lucy decides to go to the bathroom in Corgan's house, where she makes a disturbing discovery. Lucy finds pills prescribed for Corgan by Dr. John and confronts her friend about it, feeling betrayed that she went to Dr. John after everything she told her about him. Corgan then admits that she talked to Adrian about his mental state, and he got her an appointment with Dr. John. She also said that she didn't ask her husband about the papers Lucy showed her, and instead, she decided to give them back to Adrian, who clarified that he didn't have a safe on his desk. Corgan also states that she is deeply concerned about Lucy, and is frightened by what is happening to her. Suddenly, Lucy goes into labor and rushes to Grace's clinic, where she gives birth to a baby boy. She is surprised when she realizes that another baby is on the way. However, the situation gets complicated, and Grace realizes that it's necessary to take Lucy to the emergency room due to blood loss. They arrive at Dr. John's clinic, where Lucy gives birth to the second twin, and the female fetus is removed. All this leaves Lucy deeply disturbed and dissatisfied with what is happening. Upon returning to Grace, Lucy begins to notice some strange differences in the clinic, including Grace's appearance. Grace tries to reassure her, saying that nothing has changed since the beginning. Determined to understand her hallucinations, Lucy decides to return to the clinic and see Dr. John, but he refuses to see her without an appointment. 
However, Lucy decides to share her experiences with the secretary, who takes her to a private room. The secretary tries to convince her to leave, mentioning how lucky she is to have twin sons and an incredible husband. She also reveals that Lucy's husband plans to work with Dr. John, a shocking revelation for Lucy. Later, Lucy enters a laboratory and comes across the fetus of her daughter Wendy. Dr. John appears and makes a disturbing revelation, the sperm used for fertilization was not Adrian's, her husband's, but his own. He claims that the world will be better with his DNA spread and shows Lucy a fridge full of containers containing his seed. As Lucy processes this terrible truth and begins to feel afraid, Dr. John prepares to sedate her. However, Lucy reacts by attacking him and managing to immobilize him. The secretary appears and tries to hit Lucy from behind, but she fights back and incapacitates her. Lucy finally confronts Dr. John, knocking over the fridge full of his DNA vials. She then leaves the lab with Wendy's fetus. Returning home, covered in blood, Lucy begins to have disturbing hallucinations, imagining that she is releasing her twin children out of the window, watching them float away. In reality, she hands the babies over to Adrian and sits down on the sofa to breastfeed the dead fetus, a distressing scene. And that concludes the movie False Positive, I hope you enjoyed it. Take a look at the other videos here on the channel, you're sure to like them.